All right, guys. So everybody looking on the internet for instructions on how to install this Marlin Crawler roll cage. I'm gonna make a video. We're gonna be installing the cage onto Crunchy, and we'll see how this goes. There's gonna be a lot of pieces. There's gonna be a lot of cutting, a lot of measuring, some welding, and pretty much it's kind of like a universal kit that you gotta customize for your rig. So we're gonna be going over that right now. So this is pretty much what the kit looks like. It's gonna be your sidebars on either side, your back bar, and a couple tubes for the center. I am missing four of these and one of these 90s. Uh, contacted Marlin. They should be shipping them out shortly. And all right guys, so first thing we gotta do is set up this rear bar in the truck which means seats gotta come out, right? It's usually four bolts, pull out the seat. Remember, I took out some of the bolts. There is one longer bolt, and that's gonna be for your seat belts. Very important, right? Let's pull those seats out. All right, guys, so check it out. We got the seats out. We got the bar kind of mocked up on the back here. So these inner tubes come long for the single cab. I cut about nine inches off because they were sticking out past here. So I got nine inches off just to get them in there. Let me see if I could flip the camera around. So as you see here, we're going to be putting up these little feet here. It's going to go up and over. Probably gonna have to do some more notching, cut another four or five inches off of that. I'll try to give you guys the exact measurement of how much I cut off of it. And then we're gonna tie it in to the corners right here. The feet on the bottom have these plates. We're gonna be centering them up. There's drain holes underneath here, so we gotta make sure we are missing the drain holes when you drill out the four holes to mount this back bar so we got it welded in on the tabs in the truck it's pretty solid i was wrong these are not drain holes they're actually your body mounts and i wasn't able to put the front two bolts on where i positioned the pipe i positioned the pipe pretty much center of the seat belt back here But I bolted the two rear holes on both sides. And then on the upper pipe here, I cut four more inches off from the end right here to get the uh, piece more center. So in order to notch all this pipe, I'm using this Harbor Freight notcher right here. It's pretty simple. You got your shaft right here and then you hook up your drill you put your pipe into here and then you just drill straight down and you can notch it. You could also pick different degrees. And I mean, it's 59 bucks, pretty cheap and it works. I built my sliders off this thing. I built my rear bumper. I'm notching all the pipe on the cage with it. It's, it's a great little tool. And as you can see, it gets a nice round notch that's square to your pipe so it really helps out when you're trying to tack things up on the top you just stick that sucker on there and then work it where you want right about there oh. so since the back of the cab i didn't i wasn't able to drill out two of the holes right here i made sure to check underneath and make these marks on the body right here and right here and that way I know that this plate has this much movement to where I could still drill all the way through and that's where pretty much the front leg is gonna go up and over to the back so when I start notching all these pipes there's a longer end and a shorter end with a little kink right here there's about five of these and one long one I'm going to be notching all of them on the shorter end. And it looks like from all their bends, there's like a little seam weld right here. 
or I don't know what that is, but there's a line. I'm using that as my center. So if you look right here, that dark area is gonna be right centered up right here. And you'll see there's a little triangle right there. That's kind of what I centered it up on. Put it on here. And then all that's left is to start, start notching. Pretty much that easy right there. Straight notch down. Well, there it is. All of them are all notched, all six pipes. Now I just gotta wait for help so I could get some help holding these up and uh, making sure that we have exactly two inches for those um, disconnects to take the cage down. I'm not sure exactly what they're called. So this right here is pretty much what I call the disconnect. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the actual name of these are. I know they're like Crow Molly Steel from what Marlin says. These are going to be going in the pipe here and then welded. So I already measured it out with a pipe on either end. It's exactly a two inch gap. To have this fit in there so when we go to cut this back and to install one of these guys up there you're gonna want two inches of gap to weld this in and if you notice there's like a little line right here I'm gonna be installing them this way so the lower lip is going towards the front so that bar when you take this apart can drop down and then this back bar could come after that. Well, I got the whole cage in here and tacked up. A lot more measuring than I anticipated, but it doesn't look too bad. We ended up cutting, I believe, it was nine and six, so 15 inches off of this bar. And then four inches off of these. So we got all these gussets here that we have to chop down at a 45 on both sides, so I can weld them onto the cage. And pretty much after that, we go to paint. All right, so I got all the gussets tacked on there, where they go. And it's pretty much gonna be done. I just gotta weld on these little handles right here, but I'm gonna probably do that in the truck once it's all set in place so I can figure out exactly where I wanna put them. But this is it. Not bad. A little more work than I thought, but she's coming together. Well, here's the cage fully painted and done with all the gussets in. Not bad. Just gotta install it in the truck now. So I have the cage fully installed now. Four bolts up here. All the way around, got all the gussets in. It's a pretty good fit. I could have put this forward a little bit more, but I kind of liked where it was. Plus I already rolled the truck, so I'm not too worried about it. The only downside for this kit is that it comes long. It comes pretty much universal for extended cabs, different models, different years. 
So on the foot pegs back here, welding these in, those plates were not long enough to go around the body mount underneath the truck. So you see I have the two bolts right here. The plate wasn't long enough to get to the other side. That's pretty much the only spot you could put this cage, at least in the rear, without putting it way up forward. So that's one of the downsides of it. Another downside is it comes with no instructions, no real direction on how to install this cage. I mean, it gives you some photos on Marlin's website, which is great, but that's pretty much it. That's all you have to work with is some photos on his website. And you could just got to figure it out yourself, I guess. I was trying to keep in mind all the cuts and bends that I did, but I can't keep track of all of those. It was kind of fitted to my cab and it was a little different because like I said, I've already rolled the truck. So the driver's side was a lot tighter fitting than the passenger side up here. If you can see, I'm pretty tight to where the cab kind of rolled on my driver's side. Passenger side has a whole lot more room. But all in all, not too bad. I would have probably gone with the Forex Innovations. It's already cut and measured. The only thing downside of that kit, it's not removable. I do like Marlin's idea with these Chromoly uh, fittings here to be able to remove the whole cage and paint it and have a good full weld all the way around. In all, I give the kit a six out of 10. There's a lot of work you gotta do yourself. There, it's nice that it comes pre-bent, but it's super long. It's really a custom kit that you gotta fit to you, your specifications. So that's my take on it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was helpful. And like another thing, these plates on the bottom, you only have so much room you could put them in. Like I have my marks right here or else I hit body mounts and I hit gussets underneath the cab. So that was probably my biggest downfall that I thought of the kit. The mounting positions, at least for the single cab for my truck, weren't ideal.